Hey everybody, Captain here. Uh, I have not really spoken about the Ebola thing because I don't, again, enjoy the decline, don't really give a fuck, but I'm, I am going to point out one thing, and this is kind of like a Hail Mary pass to the whole, you know, break through people's thinking, get you think clearly here. It, Ebola has killed, if you want to look at the most racist uh, living entity ever, Ebola has killed no white males. None. As far as I can tell, it, uh, Nian Pham, she's uh, Asian, uh, the guy from Liberia, obviously black man, and I think everyone who's been infected or killed has been predominantly black. Right? Now, of course, Ebola is not sentient. It, it is truly not racist. But what I want, especially all you minorities out there who love voting for Obama, you know, because he's your guy, you have to look at him not as your guy. Or he's our boy. Oh, look, he's, he's black. He's down with the race. He's down with the cause. You have to look at what his actions do. And you have to look at not what's coming out of his mouth. Look at what his actions have done. Okay? He has brought and he has allowed and he's now still allowing with these fucking idiots at the CDC, the, the fucking dope that they got in charge of that thing, say, well, we can't ban flights from Liberia because that'd be racist. Huh? This has nothing to do with race. This is, a, this is a deadly virus that will kill indiscriminately. And don't worry, it'll make the jump. But Whitey will get his in the end. Don't worry. It's not exclusively picking out females and minorities. It is, it, it'll, it'll go everywhere. But I want to point out how it's, so far, predominantly hurt people uh, that are minorities. It hasn't hurt. So he doesn't care. He does not care. The one thing Barack Obama cares about is being a goddamn politician and an ideologue. And a lot of people, I didn't know what an ideologue meant. And uh, <clears throat> I will explain not to belittle intelligence because I literally didn't know what it was until like five, six years ago. It means he's a zealot. It means nothing else matters to him than his religion. And you've ran into these people. You could say uh, radical Muslims are a perfect example. They don't care. They'll kill anyone because it's all for that crusade, that, that religion. Feminists, they don't care. They'll fuck up and ruin families with government policy. They don't care. It's all that religion. And Obama is an ideologue of the left. He wants to destroy this country. He hates the United States. He hates everyone that's in here. He hates success. He, hates, he wants to bring it down. Right? And I hate to sound so simplistic or conspiratorial, but look at his actions. And sadly, we're all on this boat together. This is the Titanic here. Ain't nobody escaping it. Right? So don't look at him. Take the, the glasses. Take Truly be colorblind and look at what his actions have done. You do know black standards of living uh, as a percentage of whites based on median income. You can use other measures. They haven't closed. They've gone down a little bit since Obama's been in charge. Right? You can, Go ahead. Blame it on an on on evil Republican Congress. Why, fine, fine. If you don't believe that, look at this. The Ebola thing, right? He is wedded to that ideology. He doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. He doesn't care about the color of your skin. He cares about socialism and leftism. That's what he is. He is. It, it's like, uh, I'm trying to think of what else. I mean, a zealot ideologue. Look it up. All right. So I just want to point it out. Maybe, you know, the death of many minorities under a horrible, horrible virus that could have been stopped at any time by preventing people from Liberia and other infected countries from coming over. They're doing the same thing in Africa. They're shutting down their borders. And go look it up. Right? I just want, this is the one of the rare times he's left himself exposed and, and let you peek behind the curtain and see what kind of a guy he is. This guy is a fucking, you can't even call him evil because evil is indicates like some kind of intelligence or willingness or psychoticness. This guy is just a, an arrogant, selfish fuck. He, he doesn't care about you. He cares about Barack Obama. That's, it's an ego for him. An egomaniac, I guess, would be a, a good uh, psychological assessment. In any case, that's all I'm going to say about Ebola. I mean, it's here. I guess, you know, get, get to deal with it now. We didn't have it before. If you think that's progress, you want to run cover for that guy while people are dying, all 100% minorities, okay, fine, all right? I, I can't stop you. There's no reasoning or logic in that. But if you care about yourselves, you care about your children, you care about life, uh, I think we gotta look past his race. We gotta look past what comes out of his mouth and look at what this fucker is doing. That's all I got. Toodles.